How's it going everyone? It's Lee again from Function Dynamic and in today's video what we'll be doing is covering uh, sending automatic emails through Zoho Creator. Now the good thing is Zoho Creator makes it super simple to automatically send emails whenever a task is done. So for example, say we complete a sale, we might want to send a an email confirmation to the customer. Um, Likewise, if changes are made to records, we might want to notify someone in an organization. So it's a very versatile task and there are a few ways to go about it. And I'm going to cover two ways. I'll start off with the most basic. So we can see in the, um, in the customer record that there is an email field. And if your record has an email field in it, it is fairly straightforward to send an automatic email and uh, the way that is done is by going into workflows we'll select customer create workflow and then um, we'll do edited for demonstration purposes and we'll do on successful form submission and email customer. So what we're going to do is just create a simple workflow that will uh, send ourselves an email or send the customer an email whenever uh, a change is made to their record. So we'll go to add new action. Now in the previous one, we used a deluge script. Now this time, if there is, as mentioned, a, an email field on the record, we can go to notification, go to send mail, select who it's from. Um, this will be whoever registered the uh, creator application. So Zoho admin user ID. You can also add in um, other fields as well. But for now, we'll just keep it like this and then two. We'll select the form field and we'll keep this here and say, hi, this is a test. Now, of course, um, you can style this however you want. So let's say we want to make this blue for whatever reason, we can do that. And then press save. So what will happen now is if I go to done, Go to access this application and uh, then go to all customers. I've set myself as an, uh, a customer here with my email. We're just going to um, change this and make an update. So as you recall, whenever we make an update, um, the workflow will run. So if I push update, I should in any second get an email to that address. So I'll just refresh this and I'll pull this over here and we can see that uh, record updated. This is a test. So simple as that. A few quick steps and everything is good to go. Now, the trick is though, however, when we go to, let's say, a more practical use is when a uh, sale is done and we want to notify the uh, customer that the sale is complete. Um, since we are using a lookup, we cannot use um, a workflow in the same way. So we'll go into workflow and just to show you, I'm going to go to sale. We have our workflows that we put together. And let's say create this time uh, submission of the form email customer create workflow. Now if we go to add new action and then go to notification like before, um, we can select who it's from. But when we go to two, we can see that it isn't a Zoho variable. Um, but that is all right because we can um, essentially do the same thing with Deluge script. Now it's uh, 
again, it might seem like a little bit of a challenge, but um, it can certainly, it's certainly not all that difficult. So how it is done is um, by typing in send mail. You can type in uh, from, we'll say, zoho.admin user ID. And the Zoho admin I user ID, as mentioned before, is the email of the person who registered uh, the creator or the uh, Zoho account, rather. And then from here, we can see, yeah, again, we can't do customer because customer is just the ID. So we'll take a step back and say customer equals customer ID equals um, input dot customer. And what this will do is uh, like uh, the previous workflow that we went over, uh, this is going to get the records um, with the ID that is the one on the sales record. And so to recap, if I go to customer dot, we can see all the fields on the customer record, um, including email. So I'm going to exit off that one and then go to here, customer dot email. And this will essentially pull the uh, customer from um, the email from the record. We'll do uh, sale receipt and then message. Uh, this is a test. Press enter, add a semicolon, and then save. And doing that is all we need to do for that. So if we go back to um, accessing the application, what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and uh, create a sale with my email. I'll select um, an example email. And it doesn't really matter what I do here. And if I push submit, it will do the same thing. So I'll wait a second, wait for the notification. And here we go. We're up and we can see that we now have uh, the workflow automatically sending emails. So as you can see, it's super simple and uh, quick to implement. Whether you already have a creator application, are looking to get started, or just want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to get pointed in the right direction, always feel free to reach out to us at Function Dynamic by going to www.functiondynamic.com. Click the Contact Us link and fill in the Get Started form. Once filled in, you will automatically receive an email with a link to schedule a time that works best for you. This was Lee from Function Dynamic. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.